What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I got for you guys is an early first look at the Walking Dead event, the rewards, and how you'll be able to get them. I got a full showcasing and a guide to be able to unlock them in the fastest way possible. We're also going to showcase and talk about the Michonne Operator Bundle. Everything you need to know about that Wednesday update I got covered for you guys here a couple days earlier. So if you find the video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Also be sure to check out the other video that I posted earlier today. It covers eight free operator skins and bundles that you can now unlock. Be sure to check that out after you finish this video and if you missed out on the season 2 reloaded news that I've been covering over the last couple days I'll have that link down in the description as well the brand new Walking Dead event is going to be starting this upcoming Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time this will be an XP based event meaning that you simply just need to play the game in order to be able to get these rewards I'll talk about the fastest way that you can gain XP first let me go ahead and showcase these different types of rewards you're gonna get the first one that you will unlock is a brand new weapon sticker this one is called the brave man it looks like you're gonna need to gain around 10 thousand xp in order to get this brand new weapon sticker the second reward is going to be a one hour double xp token at 23,600 xp the third one that we have is going to be called the red machete large decal unlocked at 42,100 xp the xp amount may be a little bit off because we are going based on a leak and this event is yet to go live so they may differentiate by a couple of numbers the third or the fourth reward is going to be a double weapon xp token for one hour at 67,200 and 50 XP. The next reward that you unlock is a brand new weapon charm. This one is called Lucille, which is Negan's bat. I'm surprised that they're making references to the OG Walking Dead, considering this crossover has to do with the new show and these characters are not there. You also need 101,460 XP to get this reward. The next one is going to be called the Carl's Favorite, which will be a large decal and it says chocolate pudding and you need 148,000 XP. Following that, you unlock the Sheriff Deputy Rick Hat, which is going to be coming in the form of an M emblem and that's going to be at 211,300 XP. The next reward is called Don't Open Dead Inside. Calling card doesn't look like it's going to be animated. Following that you have a one hour double battle pass XP token at 414,350 XP and the last and final reward that you're going to be able to unlock. This is the Barbed Camel which will be the mastery reward camel that you'll unlock by completing the entire event and getting the max amount of XP that you can and this is an early showcasing credit to Austin 6 for the footage but unfortunately it's not animated it doesn't look like it'll have any sort of effects or anything like that going on with it but it's still a free camo nonetheless and if you equip the Michonne operator bundle you will unlock an XP boost which is I believe around a thousand to two thousand five hundred XP per match the Michonne operator I'm gonna guess will probably drop this Tuesday at around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time a day before the event goes live is usually when they like to do these types of things if not the latest this bundle will arrive will be on Wednesday but here's a showcasing of everything you'll be able to get the first thing is gonna be the Michonne operator Operator skin. The good thing is apparently it's been confirmed that the voice actress is actually going to be voicing her so she will have the proper voice lines. Hopefully they're not generic voice lines and things just taken and cut straight from the show. Anyways along with the new operator you get a new set of finishing moves which the finishing move is called Dead Cuts. I'm going to showcase all the different forms of it. Credit to Austin 6 for the early footage on this as well. I'll have his link down below be sure to check out his channel but these are the different forms of this finishing move when they're just standing whether they are prone whether they are crouch or not. Other than this you also got three different weapon blueprints the first weapon blueprint is going to be for the mcw called the lone survivor this comes in with not only a tracer impact round called the death and decay tracers but a death effect called Michonne Specialty. The second weapon blueprint comes in for the longbow called the Walker Waster. Same exact tracer rounds and effects. Doesn't look like it has a sniper scope, but it looks like it has like some sort of elo or red dot on it, but this is what it looks like. And then the third weapon blueprint, so this is actually coming in with three, you have the Killer Kodachis, which comes in for the dual Kodachis. We really wanted to see a sword. That would have made so much sense, but it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing that this time around. And then it also has a death effect. The final set of items are going to be a weapon sticker as well as a large decal and then a weapon charm and then the finishing move which I already showcased. Anyways this will be the last event going live before the season 2 reloaded update meaning that you only have one week to complete this event. It's going to be starting this upcoming Wednesday and it will be ending the next Wednesday after that so you're going to need to really grind if you want to maximize and get all that XP. The fastest way that I have noticed to be able to gain XP is to play longer base modes. My go-to is Warzone no matter what. If you play Resurgence in Warzone chances are you're probably going to play a longer 
longer duration match than you were to play in like team deathmatch and you're going to gain a lot more XP, especially if you're able to get kills, you open up crates, you do contracts, you'll be able to get a lot more XP than a person or to play a shorter pace match and gain a little bit of XP and then have to waste their time in a pregame lobby looking for the next match. This is one of those events where you simply just have to play the game, grind out the weapons that you're leveling up or just whatever you usually do, continuously play that and you'll be able to unlock all the rewards. On top of that, we also will receive a new playlist update the day after, which is going to be on Thursday. This brings in, you have Ring Play Resurgence, which stays the same at Trios. You have Battle Royale and Years Extend. This is going to be available in Solos, Trios, and Quads. You have Mini Royale, which is going to be extended, and that's going to be on Years Extend Duos. You have Battle Royale Preview, which is going to be in Years Extend Quads. And then you have Resurgence Rotational, which will be in Fortune's Keep and Vondel in Solos, Duos, Trios, Quads. And finally, Lockdown Vondel Quads will be replacing Plunder and returning to the game. So Vondel Lockdown would be a great way for you to get a bunch of eliminations and gain that XP. On top of that, if you haven't gotten the Battle Royale preview rewards, I did talk about this in the video that I posted earlier today. There is the Mortem Operator skin that you can get with winning the game and having the weapon case in your inventory. If you choose to exfil, there's four different decals that you unlock with the weapon blueprint. We know for a fact that these rewards are only here for a limited time. It really depends if they decide to remove Battle Royale preview early or if they decide to update the rewards. We know that Season 2 Reloaded comes out next week. There's a small chance that the weapon case rewards will get fully updated, so the Mortem Operator will go away permanently and get replaced with the brand new Operator. Same with the decals and the weapon blueprint. So if you haven't gotten those, that's definitely something that you can grind while you are doing this Walking Dead event. Another reason why this week is going to be pretty massive for Call of Duty is because we are going to receive the official marketing for the Season 2 Reloaded update. We're going to get the official blog post, which is either going to drop this upcoming Wednesday or Thursday. We usually see around a couple days to a week before the actual update goes live so at some point this week we are going to get that blog post this gives us the detail on the events that are going to be coming in we did talk about the leaks with warhammer but call of duty hasn't officially announced anything in regards to that they also mentioned the dune event that's coming in there's also the decays realm event which is going to be another part of the vortex one there's new weapons brand new modes new maps so much going on and there's a small chance we might receive a small update to prepare for the season two reloaded so maybe they'll do some weapon balance changes Changes. Maybe they'll do some bug fixes. We know Call of Duty has been going through it a lot lately with the other day, the game completely crashing. The server entirely just went down. There might be some issues that they are preparing for the season two reloaded update that they want to get out earlier and in advance. And we've seen them do that a couple of times. So we may get some patch notes that we're going to go over this upcoming week towards the end of that. So this is pretty much everything that you need to know and to expect from now up until season two reloaded. In the meantime, I am going to cover all the new content that you can expect in more detail. So if you are finding these videos helpful or informative don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates but this is pretty much all that i have for you guys in this video if there's anything else that gets changed in regards to the walking dead event or the rewards themselves i'll update you guys with another video but let me know what your thoughts and opinions on on this week's content and the updates that we're gonna get but it's been your boy chizzo thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace